Photos of items dropping into water always have the potential to fascinate. The dramatic splashdown, the explosion of flying droplets frozen in time. They're also increasingly seen in commercial images. Look in your local supermarket and there's a high probability you'll find an image of a strawberry, chili pepper, or banana hitting the water captured by a high-speed flash. In this weekend project by Thomas Berg, we'll show you how to take perfect splash photos the easy way by precisely timing the dropping of the object and the triggering of the flash using an Arduino microcontroller board. You'll need the following parts to build this setup and the better part of an afternoon to put it all together. You'll also need some basic woodworking tools to build the dropper rig and a computer to operate the Arduino. We'll start by building the rig that drops the item we want to photograph into the water. Cut two sheets of corrugated plastic the same size and then cut matching holes in each of them. Then, build a simple frame to carry the two sheets. Note the two rails on the side that will help guide the top sheet, which is connected to the solenoid. We're using angle aluminum, but you can also build the rails out of wood. Fix the bottom sheet to the frame and the top to the solenoid pin. Make sure that when the solenoid fires, the two holes you cut earlier will line up. Test to make sure it's all working properly before moving on to the next step. For all that's going on in this circuit, it's fairly simple. Attach the relay shield to your Arduino. Relay 2 will control the solenoid, and relay 3 will fire the flash. Connect the common pin of relay 2 to the power rail on your breadboard, and the normally open pin to your fuse. Cut the barrel connector off the solenoid's power supply, and strip and tin the two ends. Solder two pieces of hookup wire to the two terminals on the solenoid, and then connect the other ends to the power and ground rails on one side of the breadboard. Connect the positive lead on the power supply side to the power rail on the left-hand side of the board, and the negative lead to the ground rail on the right-hand side. Then connect the other end of the fuse to the power rail on the right side of the board. Now we'll wire up the flash. Cut the off-camera flash cable near the end which connects to the camera. Strip the outer sheathing off, and then separate and strip the individual leads. Connect the flash to the other end and power it on. Once the flash is ready, Identify the two wires needed for this circuit by touching them together. When the flash fires, you have the two wires you need. Trim the rest away. Tin the ends of these wires and connect them to the common and normally open terminals on Relay 3. Connect the Arduino to your computer and upload the project sketch. The sketch involves a lot of interaction with the board through a serial interface, so you'll need to have a computer connected as you use it. Set up and open the serial monitor in the Arduino IDE you'll be manually inputting a number of different values, the delay before the object drops, the amount of time the rig stays open, the delay before the flash fires, and the duration of the flash. Now get set up to start taking some photos. Place your dropper rig on top of your aquarium and place some objects into the stage. Aim your flash into the tank so you won't get glare on the aquarium glass. When you're ready to shoot, set the shutter speed on your camera to three seconds and open the shutter. Once the shutter is open, trigger the dropper and flash with the Enter key. Make a note of your settings and use them as a reference to fine-tune your images. Once dialed in, you'll be able to use this setup to generate beautiful images of objects cascading into water. You can also take this project further. With a hacked shutter release cable, you can use the remaining relays to control the camera shutter. Share your splash photography photos with us in the comments below, and hit subscribe for more Make Projects.